<laughs> really? Why did she I was like, using art supplies and magazines, <laughs> students for gender equality crafted these representations of their genitalia. I think it's kind of a good way of getting people more comfortable with, you know, talking about that kind of stuff and acknowledging that it's there and like, hey, whoa, <laughs> this is a part of me and I don't need to be ashamed about it or anything like that. <laughs> this is the little man in the boat. So the clit is kind of like the vagina is the shape of a boat. Oh, little man. <laughs> Leaders of the organization ask women to create their own images of female sexuality to contrast the images portrayed in women's magazines. You see on the cover this like image of an unattainable person. You would never see this in real life. It's completely hairless and you don't find that you know, naturally, and then you get people obsessing that, oh, I need to be hairless, otherwise I can't satisfy my man, and I can't, it, it's my job to please him, and not his job to please me. It's not just a group of feminists that get together and bitch about men, it's like we want to really involve students, we want to let them know about different gender issues and sex issues. We don't have to be skinny, we don't have to be flawless, hairless, you know, with our perfectly trimmed eyebrows and perfect shoes and all like that. We don't have to be that to be beautiful and be powerful and, you know, have a happy life. I would say to somebody who, you know, didn't necessarily want to take a lot of classes about gender issues and stuff like that, um, just don't be afraid to start conversations with people about it, you know. Um, don't be afraid to come to a few Students for Gender Equality meetings. Evan Miller for the Webster Journal. <laughs>